hey and welcome to my channel if you're new here I'm glad to have you if you've been here I'm glad you're sticking around now today we're going to talk about how to meal prep or more specifically how I meal prep part of it is what you hear in the background <laughs> we'll talk about that so I hope it's not distracting but I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone here I was getting ready to start and I thought, you know what, in my intro, I just want to go over a couple things of what helps make me successful when I do my meal preps. And I thought, well, they're kind of long videos on their own, so maybe I'll just make a whole separate video. Now, I am not an expert in the field. I have not written a book about it. <laughs> I'm sure there are people, I know there are people who are better at it than me, who know more than me, who have more tips and tricks than I do. But for what I do, these are the steps that help me. And I thought, maybe they would help somebody else. So I have them written down because there's no way I can <laughs> remember all these things. I think I've got everything in order the way that I go about it. Um, you could be different. Like I said, I'm sure other people know more. But if it helps me, I'm just hoping maybe it'll help somebody. If you're um, worried about that you can't do a meal prep. If you have watched any of my videos on meal prep, you see some weeks it is no more than putting snacks in a snack bowl, making a salad dressing and a salad, and I'm done. It depends how you feel. It depends on what your week is like. Maybe you're not going to be home but for two days. You only need to make something for two days. Maybe you have office meetings where they're going to eat out. You don't have to do anything that day. There's all kind of um, parameters that can affect what and how you meal prep. But these are just some steps, no matter what you do or how much of it you do, that I think will make you successful because they make me successful. So the first thing is to make a plan. That's not just for what you're going to prep, but it's what you're going to eat for supper that night. I'm going to tell you right now, when I don't plan supper, before I start prepping, nine times out of ten, we're going to eat out. Saturday is our eat out day, so I don't need to eat out two days in a row. <laughs> I don't have the points for that. No, <laughs> not after I have a good meal on Saturday. <laughs> no. So, plan what you're going to eat for supper. I have, the past couple of weeks, put something in the crock pot. I've already got my... um crock pot going so it's going to cook all day it'll be ready tonight when we're ready for supper if you're going to eat out then go ahead and plan to eat out if you're going to eat leftovers plan the leftovers if you're going to meal prep and then you still feel like cooking supper plan that make sure not only do you have everything you need for your prep make sure you have everything you need for your supper now the other planning part is to plan what you're going to prep I do not suggest doing this the same day. <laughs> no. I suggest working on it sometime during the week before the day you're going to prep. So whenever I get my menu ready for the week on Thursday, I know on Thursday what I'm going to prep. I do my grocery order pickups on Friday, so I have my menus prepared and finalized on Thursday so I can put that order in. For Friday so plan 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 that is my very first tip oh and part of planning is and this kind of goes with the second one clean out and organize your fridge you gotta have somewhere to put this stuff if you're like me when you open that fridge door some of that stuff's gonna start <laughs> falling out in the floor you've just been all week you've been rushing you've just been sticking stuff in here and there just you got a mess you got things that can be condensed you got things you can throw away you got little dibs and dabs that you can actually use for your meal prep before i um do my menu i have a freezer inventory and a pantry inventory which by the way is on my website under miscellaneous if you want to um go check that out it's customizable um, to go with whatever foods you eat. I don't expect everybody to eat like me. <laughs> so I check to see what I have on hand in my freezer and in my pantry. And then I check, like, this week, what, what I am prepping this week for lunches are barbecue chicken wraps. 
I have wraps up there that I've not been eating. I buy them with all the intention that I'm going to make wraps, and I just never do. So I need to eat them before I waste them. That's why I'm putting them in my meal prep. So that comes along with cleaning out your fridge. Don't just organize it. See if there's anything in there that you need to use up. The frittata that I'm making this week, I'm just using up, you know, dibs and dabs of things that I have that I'm just going to throw in there. So that is my second thing, to go ahead and get that um, fridge ready. The um, third thing, and now the plan I want you to have already during the week, clean out the fridge and this one, cleaning up your kitchen, starting with an empty dishwasher. If you drain your dishes like on a, a mat like I do, have all those put up. Have, have your kitchen clean. Have the stove wiped down. Have everything cleaned and ready. It will make meal prep so much more enjoyable <laughs> if you're not fighting a whole bunch of dirty stuff already. Those things that I just mentioned, the fridge and the kitchen, you can do the day before, the night before, or you can even do it the day of meal prep. just depends on how much energy you have, how long the recipes you have are going to take you to cook. It depends on your time frame. So just squeeze those two things in before or the day of your meal prep. But those are two very important things to have ready and done. Now, the day of. These are things that we're going to start on like I'm getting ready to prep. And these are the things that I'm going down my list and I'm going to make sure that I have done. The first thing is like my husband. It's just me and him at home. Well, I had my grandson. He spent the night with me last night. So I had already warned my son any other day he could stay with me during the day. But I already let him know Sunday is my meal prepping day. I have to meal prep. If I don't want to gain weight this week, <laughs> I said, and I'm on a streak and I got to try to keep it up. If I don't meal prep, I am not successful. That's just the bottom line. Everybody's different. But if I don't have food to just grab and go, you can forget it. I am going to mess up all week long. So what I did was I warned him. I let him know up front. I didn't just wake up. Sunday morning and call him up after he worked last night. Of course, his girlfriend's at home, so it's not like I'm dumping him, you know, on a sleeping <laughs> man. I, I didn't call him up this morning and say, hey, by the way, I, I'm bringing Sebastian home because I got a meal prep. No, I let him know up front. So my husband, he knows Sundays are my meal prep days. He knows because I have a big open um, floor plan. It's like the dining area, the kitchen, and the living room. He likes, if he's if he's at home and he's relaxing and resting, he likes to watch TV. So when I'm in here filming, he can't watch TV because of the sound. So he has to go in the bedroom. He already knows and he'll tell me, well, I'm going to be out of your hair. Like last week, he was outside fixing the brakes on his truck. So he was outside. Today, he's got to go down and do some stuff at his mom's. The other days, he will just lay in the bedroom and watch TV. Just depends on what he's got going on. But if there's other people in your household, like you got kids, young kids, grown kids, whoever, brother, sister, whoever you live with, let them know ahead of time, okay, this is the day I'm going to prep. It's just like when you mop your floor. You're mopping the kitchen floor. You let everybody know, I'm getting ready to mop. You got to wait till it dries. So if you need anything out of this kitchen, you better get it now. The same way with prepping. You let them know. If you need anything out of this kitchen, you better get it now because you're banned until I'm through. <laughs> so forewarn your family. Then wear comfortable clothes. This is pretty much my year-long attire. But don't wear anything. Don't, don't, don't dress to the nines to come in here and cook. Don't wear long sleeves that are going to like drag in your food. Don't wear clothes that you have to keep doing this. Y'all have those clothes. I have those clothes. They aggravate me to death because you're constantly, you don't want to be doing that while you're cooking. You have enough going on. Make sure you got something comfortable on your feet. If, if you like to go barefoot or bedroom slippers, tennis shoes, just make sure your clothes are comfortable and your feet feel good. Then, eat a good breakfast. That's the key, too. I just finished my breakfast. If I start in here cooking for how many, three hours, whatever it's going to take me, and I don't eat first, I'm going to feel miserable. 
I'm going to be hungry. I'm going to just go scrounging for something while I'm cooking. I'm going to go digging for something that I can just eat really, really fast on the move. So make sure you have a good breakfast. Then, let's see. What I was doing back there, making my pot of coffee, have you a nice big water bottle. I have my water already made over there. I have a big travel mug that I keep my water in. I have my water ready to go. I have my pot of coffee ready to go. Maybe you drink tea. Have your pot of tea ready to go. Have something to keep yourself hydrated while you're working. Then this one, you don't have to do this. This is specifically to me. But I, I have a certain ambiance I like, and that ambiance is Criminal Minds. If you follow my channel, you know that is my favorite TV show of all time, and you know I have watched it over and over on Netflix 1,436,000 times. <laughs> Every Sunday, my routine is to turn Netflix on, start Criminal Minds over from episode one. Every Sunday. I'm not even exaggerating. Episode one. Every Sunday, I keep the, I have it on a fire stick. I keep my little fire stick remote over here. When I'm filming, so you, you, you won't do the filming part. You'll have it on the whole time. When I'm filming, I pause it so there's not the sound. When I'm doing things off camera, I go ahead and turn it back on. Maybe you have um, your favorite music. Turn your music on. If you have a-L-E-X-A. -E I didn't want to light up. Turn her on Spotify. Amazon um, Music. Turn your phone on. Put your TV show on. Put a movie on. Something to just give you some nice little ambiance, some little background noise. Or if you like it, completely silent. Just enjoy the process with nobody bothering you. Maybe that is one time a week where everybody leaves you alone. When you're in the kitchen doing your prep. So however makes you feel more comfortable while you're doing it, then that's what you do. Let me turn my little page here. Okay, now we are all ready. We got our ambiance. We got our comfortable clothes. We got our belly full. The one thing we want to start first, and this happened to me last week. I uh, Started gathering up my ingredients and found out I was missing one thing that I forgot to order on my grocery order. So before you start, get up your recipes, look through, and make sure you have all your ingredients. So if you need to run to the store, you can do it now, not when you get something started on the stove. So that's definitely... And if you have anything, like today I had two things I needed to thaw. So this morning, when I do my prep and while I'm um, filming, I have been recently liking to do it in real time. So from start to finish, I can let you know, hey, this is what I accomplished in two and a half hours or three and a half hours. So I give you my starting time of day and then my finishing time. And you can see what I did. So I give you the real time. But I had two things I needed to thaw. I didn't want to like waste time doing that and then waiting to film. So when I woke up this morning really, really early, I just went ahead and set those things out to thaw. Those are things you need to think of before you um, start cooking. Do you have all your ingredients? Do you have anything to thaw? Now, make sure that the thawing thing, like I got up really early. I had time to thaw. It was just some Cool Whip. And some um, frozen spinach. I had time to thaw those. If you needed meat to thaw, that's something you need to think about the day before. So put that on your day before to-do list. Um, then, um, part of your getting ready is to map out your time. So when you gather your recipes, look and see what steps each recipe has to do. So like, for example... You want to get the most bang for your buck with your time. You don't want to waste any more time in the kitchen than you have to. Let's say you're making a stovetop recipe that only takes a half hour. And you're also making a casserole in the oven that takes an hour. Do not make your 30-minute stovetop meal, finish it, then start your one-hour recipe because you've wasted time. 
when you start your casserole that needs to go in the oven for an hour, get it in the oven, then work on your 30-minute meal because you're overlapping that time. So you're getting the most use of your time. You're not spending any more time in here, any more time on your feet than you have to spend. So make sure you have your ingredients and map out a plan, a, a time frame. Then, this also, make sure that all your meal prep containers are clean and ready to go. When you're standing over there and you got a big pot of, let's say, spaghetti, and you don't have any meal prep containers, you don't want to stop last minute and have to wash those and get them ready. So make sure you have all, whatever you're going to put your um, food in, just make sure you have it set up there and ready. And if you need to um, label anything, that's a good time to go ahead and label it. Instead of waiting until afterwards, just go ahead and get everything labeled. Then, one thing that I find really useful, and I use A-L-E-X-A-A -A -A for, I use her for a lot of things, are timers. Be sure and set timers. Do not rely on your memory if it's anything like mine. <laughs> because you will forget. When you're multitasking, you will forget. It, it, it Nothing for me to be cooking on the stove with something in the oven and I have already forgot how long did I have it in there already? If I don't tell her to set that timer as soon as I shut that oven door, you can forget it. I'm going to mess up. So use your timer, whether it's that or on your phone or if you have like Google, you might have the Google Home. I'm assuming I have one, but I don't use it very often. I'm just so used to her. Um, but use that. This one is important clean as you go you've already got a clean kitchen so you're starting out from scratch there's nothing in your way clean as you go do not let it pile up maybe you want to um one side of your sink or if you got one sink however it is maybe you want to fill it up with hot soapy water and do it that way i tend to just put it in the sink rinse it and wash it individually or put it in the dishwasher rinse it and stick it in there however you like to clean just make sure you clean it as you go. You do not, trust me, you do not want to stand on your feet for three hours and look over there at that sink with another hour's worth of dishes to wash. You just don't. So clean as you go. Now, these, this, I, I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. This is once you get everything cooked and you got it all in your um, containers, if it's hot, this is simple cooking, but just let your food cool before you put it in the fridge and before you pop the lid on. Because if you pop these little plastic lids on hot food, it's going to pop right off. Then there's some things, it might not be hot enough to pop the lid off, but you're going to get that condensation in that lid and it's going to be nasty when that water drips down on your food. Not good. So just leave the lids off, let it cool before you cover it up and stick it in the fridge. And the last thing that I know, sit back, look at everything you did, and know that you had a job well done. It is so exciting and so, it's just so, uh, when you look over there and you, you see all your little Container sitting out there, what whatever you made is so satisfying knowing that coming up this week you're gonna have all this food to eat. And you can, like I said, make it if you want to make lunches, breakfast, snacks, suppers, um, like they you can make it individual containers or what they call buffet style, just in one big container to dish out of all week. So if you don't want to pre-measure it and the whole family's going to eat with you, then just make a, just a big bowl of it. So like, let's say, okay, today, one of the things I'm making is soup. I'm going to freeze most of it. I'm going to leave a little bit out to go with my wraps that I'm making. But if I didn't feel like separating out, I just put that whole bowl of soup in there and just scoop it out as I go. So, you know, anyway. That is what I have today. Those are the steps that I take. Those are the things that I think helps me be successful meal prepping, which in turn definitely, definitely helps me be successful staying on plan. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, you know, everybody tells you, 
hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, all. If you don't hit all, you won't get all the notifications. I did that. I'm a YouTuber, and I still did that and messed up. <laughs> Leave me a comment. Give me a little thumbs up. And now that I have sat here and talked for however long, Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad for me. If y'all are already in part of my channel, you know this is not too bad for me. <laughs> now I have got to go get started. I have got prep to do. So I will see you in my next video if something comes before the prep or I'll see you in my prep. Have a good day.